Bobby Winding Tension Disc, Upper Trade Die, Trade Take Up Liver, Trade Tension Dill, Needle Plate, Hook Cover Plate, Reverse Stitch Liver, Stitch Selector, Needle Clamp, Needle Bar Trade Guide, Needle, Presser Foot, and Set Screw. Bobby Winder Spinder, Bobby Winder Stopper, Hand wheel, foot switch jack, AC adapter jack, presser foot lifter, and spool pin. Next, we will have a bobbin, a needle, a trader, an AC adapter, and a foot switch. Let's get ready! Insert the AC adapter plug into the AC adapter jack and insert the AC adapter into the power outlet. We need to insert the foot switch plug into the foot switch jack. Step on the foot switch to start sewing. The presser foot lifter rise and lower the presser foot. You can rise it higher than the normal up position to more easily place fabric under the foot. Remember to lower the presser foot onto the fabric before starting to sew. Draw the thread from this bowl. Guide the thread around under the thread guide and draw out the thread from the notch and pass it under the disc. Thread through the hole in the bobbin from the inside to the outside and put the bobbin onto the bobbin winder spinder and push the bobbin to the right. With the free end of the thread held in your hand, you press the foot switch after the bobbin has run about 10 seconds Stop the machine and cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Depress the foot switch again. When the bobbin is fully wound, it stops automatically. Return the bobbin winder to its original position by moving the spindle to the left and cut off the thread. Next, we will insert the bobbin. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the tray turning off counterclockwise. Next, how to treat the machine. Guide the tray into the notch and the front of the bobbin holder, F, sliding it between the tension spring blade and slide it down to the guide plate. Make a U-turn. Pass the thread through the eye of the take-up lever from the right to the left. Draw the thread down along the left canal and pass it behind the needle bar thread guide from the left. Insert the thread there loop through the needle eye from behind and pass the trade end through the trader loop. To draw up the bobbin trade, rise the presser foot, hold the needle trade lightly with your left hand and rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise towards you. Bring the bobbin tray up by pulling the needle tray. Pull both tray 10 to 15 cm under and behind the presser foot. Changing needle. 
Disconnect the AC adapter from the machine, depress the needle to its higher position, and lower the pressure foot. Loosen the needle clamp screw by turning it counterclockwise, remove it the needle. When inserting the needle into the needle clamp, push it up as far as it can go and tighten the needle clamp screw firmly by turning it clockwise. Adjusting the needle thread tension To show more clearly how the bobbin thread works, I will change the bobbin thread into blue color and remain the red color on top. The ideal straight stage has thread locked between two layers of fabric as illustrated. The tension required adjustment depends on the stiffness and thickness of the fabric, number of fabric layers, and type of stitch. First, I will set the tension at 9. Next, I will change the tension to 0. And lastly, I will change the tension to number 4. As you can see for part A, the tension is too tight. The bobbin thread show through on the right side of the fabric. As you can see, the blue color came up. So it's ideal to turn a lower number to loosen the needle thread. As for part B, the tension is too loose, which is at zero. The needle thread show through on the wrong side of the fabric, which you can see at the wrong side of the fabric, the red color thread. For part C, as you can see, just so I put the tension at 4, this is the ideal straight stitch has the thread lock between the two layers of fabric as illustrated. Next, I will show you how to use this stitch selector. But remember to rise the needle above the fabric first. To select the stitch pattern, Turn the drill to select the desired pattern by setting the symbol letter at the setting mark. Starting to sew. First, rise the presser foot and position the fabric on the needle plate. Next, lower the needle to the point where you want to start and lower the presser foot and pull the threads towards the back. To press the foot switch, gently guide the fabric, letting the fabric fit naturally. Finishing sewing. To fasten the end of a seam, press the reverse stitch control, sew a several stitch, and rise the pressel foot, remove the fabric, and cut off the trays. Turning a square corner. Stop stitching at the corner of the fabric. Lower the needle by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise and rise the presser foot and turn the fabric counterclockwise 90 degree and finally lower the presser foot and begin stitch in the new direction.
care of your machine. Cleaning the bobbin holder. Remove the whole cover plate by sliding it towards you and brush out the dust with a brush or a vacuum cleaner. Insert back the bobbin and attach the hook power plate into the position. Please be cautious, disconnect the AC adapter jack before cleaning the machine for your safety reasons. 